everybody, welcome to Autosport 2024 and the first race weekend of the year. But the season gets underway on March the 16th and here's the rest of your dates. And coming up shortly, we're going to be heading down to the pits and the paddock. And today we're going to be in car with Paul Hines. So let's get on board and join Formula One stock car number 259, Still hugging the inside line is 259 Paul Hines. It's his to lose. F so that's what we're going to be with today. 259 Paul Hines. In fact, there's Paul now meeting some of the guests, some of the folks here for selfies and autographs. This area that you're in here is the paddock area, and if you have a VIP pass or a paddock pass, that will get you in here. But since you're with me, Steve, we have access all areas. So, first of all, what we'll do is we'll show you how to park a monster truck. Here we go. Wow, well, that is it, and I tell you, it has got to be the noisiest thing here today. And that's it, forwards a bit, and you'll see our uh, man giving aviation signals there, brakes on and stop. Loads of stuff going on at the show today, but our focus is behind the scenes we're going to get deep down and dirty with the F1 Brisker stock car guys so we're going to get under the bonnet we've got some in-car cameras and uh, the guys have been very good they're looking after me and uh, I'm enjoying the hospitality so we're having a good day we've got some cameras uh, on the cars as well and uh, we'll see what comes out so we are minutes away from uh, the F1 Brisker guys taking off going into the assembly area for their part of the show. At the moment we're in the paddock area, this is where the cars park before and after their racing. That's 212 Danny Wayman. So let's get in car with Paul who started Busker way back in 2002, swapping over from V8 hot stocks. He certainly has a few credit to his name. He has the European Championship way back in 2000 and five together with the British Championship in 2010 and the World Masters title. Still a bit to go to catch up Frankie Wayman Jr but we can live in hope. So Paul from Hinkley in Leicestershire races under number 259. This filming that you're seeing today is shot as live so we'll keep it as realistic as we can for you. Coming up we have a race later on but just to let you see a lot of behind the scenes here in the paddock there's one of the uh, monster guys pulling out, getting ready for his set. So we will be going racing and we're going to try and experiment today with the uh, virtual reality. We've set the camera up so as if you do have a virtual reality headset, you can give it a try and use it yourself. Coming up the uh, paddock here, not sure what's happened. Mini obviously broken down and uh, the guys are just taking it up the paddock. 
You'll see that I've got a high vis on. The reason being is not so much the other drivers here, but in case I walk out in front of uh, somebody else. Waiting on everybody coming out of the assembly area. And uh, there you go, that's a workout for you. Part of the A24 stunt team, these guys are immensely talented. Anyway, that's the view from Paul's cam. And just breaking from the pack number 515, Frankie Wayneman Jr. We have an interview and a race with Frankie Wayneman. If you want to catch that on SLR TV and it's on the Autosport playlist. Frankie Wayman Jr. won everything there is to win and probably three times over. Coming towards us, number 175, also from Silsden, that's Carl Hawkins, who is actually the husband of Phoebe Wayman. Here at Autosport at the Live Action Arena, this is the first race meeting of the year. However, the season proper gets underway on Sunday, March the 16th. So get that date in your diary. I know it seems like a wee bit away as we're in January, but we'll check that out. It'll be around before you know it. There you go, and just getting ready to break for cover. There we go, triple five. That's Frankie Wayman Jr. Jr. Frankie Wayman Jr.'s son and also Phoebe's uh, brother. Now, there's Phoebe just getting ready to break for cover number 211. Let's meet Phoebe, shall we? Hi, I am Phoebe Wayman. Oh, husband Carl gets a wee shove. It's just had a bash on the rear bumper there. Number 175, Carl Hawkins. More and more cars heading to the assembly area. That's Mark Sargent from Spalding heading down to join the rest of the cars. Nice guy as well, Mark Sargent. Let me know if you want to see some more behind the scenes footage, because we've got plenty. Oh, that's quite interesting, but you're with me, Stevo, in the Briska F1 paddock here at Autosport International Live Action Arena in Birmingham in January 2024. There goes Carl to join the rest of the cars, and we'll be heading up there ourselves shortly. The marshals and officials doing a sterling job of keeping the show moving here at the Live Action Arena. 345, that's Jake Harry from Coventry, and we'll be uh, meeting his dad as well. Check him out, and also Nigel Harry, who is number 45, just about getting ready to go. And just sneaking out there a moment ago, Lee Fairhurst from Mohosset, number 217. There goes. Number 212, Danny Wayneman, followed by Nigel Harry, number 45. Right, we'll catch Nigel up and we'll have a look at this camera. So one of the cameras that we've got on the Briska F1s is uh, on the back of Nigel's car. So that's one of the cameras there, rear facing. So we'll pick up some of the action from that. I hope you can hear me okay because honestly that is how loud it is here. So um, we're back on board with Paul and here's one of the uh, guys coming back in. Okay, this doesn't look too good. I hope you're enjoying our behind the scenes look here. This is all going on right behind the arena and uh, this doesn't look too good. We'll get a look and maybe hopefully the guys will pull in and we'll get an idea what's going wrong with the car here. Oh, it's on a dolly so uh, maybe a brake disc uh, exploded or... Uh, Perhaps, who knows? Yep, it had to be something bad anyway. It's kind of a one-way system here in the uh, paddock. So guys having a good look at it. And uh, there's, ah, there's Paul making a move now. So moving closer to the green light here. Those two uh, cars in front of us are the Monster Display Team. That's Bagsy and Luke Woodman. And the Monster Energy Display Team are featured here on SLR TV. As I say, check out our Autosport playlist. I think there's nigh on 20 films there that you can have a look at, all from this weekend at Autosport International 2024. Well, that's the guys just heading out on track, and they are right before the Briska F1 cars, so we will be on next. Stand by, we will be going racing shortly in the company of Briska F1259, Paul Hines.
so let's take a walk up the order number 326 Mark Sargent 515 giving us a thumbs up as well thank you Wayneman Jr 211 that's Phoebe Wayneman and triple five thank you Wayneman Jr Jr 175 Carl Hawkins number 45 that's yep a nice way from uh, Nigel Harry and there we go our pool number 276 from Stoke on Trent 217 is Lee Fairhurst from Osset and bringing up the rear is number 212 Danny Wayman right let's head down and see what's happening down front with Paul we really are just moments away from going racing get your virtual headsets ready and uh, as I say we're trying an experiment here but listen to the sights and sounds of the Bristol F1s With moments to go, I'm going to hand you over to the trackside voice of presenter and ringmaster for today, Mr. David Croft. Here's a bunch of people you really can trust, and it is a massive year in the world of Brisker. It's the 70th anniversary of UK stock cars, ladies and gentlemen. September the 14th, Skegness World Championship. Make sure you get down there, go to your local track, enjoy one of my favourite things all year round.
So you can tell me whether that experiment worked or not. That's one of the monster guys going by, possibly being out for fuel. There's no refueling allowed inside the hall. So we'll have another look at the cars again. That's the media ops people doing an interview with uh, some of the guys. Just check them out. We'll give them plenty of space. And we'll just have a look at the order again one more time. So these are some of the stars that are going to be in that diary day I gave you. March the 16th, it all kicks off at 5pm at the King's Lynn Stadium. Check it out, Briska F1 Stock Cars. Don't miss it. Wow, the show just keeps getting better and better here at Autosport. That's it for now here at Autosport 2024 and the live action arena. Many thanks to Paul Hines and the rest of the gang from Bristol F1. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll catch you next time out. Toot toot, beep beep, see ya.